Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This here is a little different from what I usually do on my channel. And this here is a makeup haul. I picked up a few products from MAC, Makeup Geek, Sasha Cosmetics, and e.l.f. And I just want to show you guys what I purchased. So let's start off with some of the, where I picked up two lipsticks. I picked up the uh, matte lipstick. It's from MAC and the color that I chose it's Whirl, and this is what it looks like. And I know I already did a tutorial featuring this lipstick already, but I just wanted to include this in my haul. And it's a matte lipstick, and this is what it looks like. And I have this on now. And I also picked up a matte wet and wild lipstick in the color that I chose is sandstorm and it looks like this and I already swatched it and the color is this color here this is sandstorm by wet and wild I like it and for MAC I also picked up another pro palette to put my eyeshadows in and it looks like this I'm pretty sure you guys seen this before and I forgot to purchase the insert that goes with this so the eyeshadows have the magnet to stay inside the case and I went to Makeup Geek website and I ordered a few of the eyeshadows and I'm just gonna go through the eyeshadows that I picked up I chose Poppy Chickadee Coco Bear, Frappe, and I have this on my, um, as a brow highlight, Bitten, and I use this color in my crease, Cream Boulet, actually no, Cream Boulet is on my brow bone, and Frappe I use as a, um, and blend this shade just to make sure that the eyeshadow is blending into my skin. And I picked up Roulette. I also picked up one of their loose pigments. And the color that I chose is Insomnia. And it's supposedly a dupe for Max Blue Brown pigment. And this is what it looks like. And I have that in the center of my eye. I also finally picked up the very infamous sasha buttercup satin powder and when i ordered this when i purchased this online it came with a free gift a free item and the item is this here the sasha powder blush in matte brown and i use this as a contour powder it says a powder blush but i don't think you can use this as a blush i use this as a contour to contour my face with but let's go back to this Sasha buttercup setting powder and I did use this already I used this to set my concealer today for this makeup that I have on now and I like it and compared to the banana setting powder the only difference that I see is that the buttercup satin powder powder is a little bit more finely milled than the banana powder and the buttercup doesn't leave like a cast, a white cast, yellow cast on your face. And when you take pictures, it doesn't um, have that weird stuff underneath your eye. And then lastly, I picked up some things from e.l.f. And I picked up the eyeshadow, this eyeshadow brush here. A fan brush. And I'm just going to use this to highlight my cheekbone area I usually use a stippling brush but I want to give this a try give this a try and I also picked up this here and it has the clear brow and it's a clear brow gel and the top portion portion is for your eyelashes but I don't use it for my lashes at all I mainly picked up this just to set my eyebrows with the clear eyebrow gel. I also picked up the e.l.f. makeup mist and set spray. So we'll see how this works. I don't know. 
And I picked up two of the blush palettes from them and they look like this. One is in light. Let me see. This one's in light and this one's in dark. Let me open it so you guys can see. And they just come in this type of packaging. Let me open it. So this one is in dark. And they kind of remind me of the NARS holiday blush set that you get during the holiday season. And this one here is in light. Here it is. So let's compare the two. Here we go. So this one here that I am raving is in dark. And this one is in light. I really don't see the difference in the colors. Well, the colors seem very similar to me. And just that one is more cool toned and the other is more warm toned. And I picked up some makeup wipes from them. Makeup removal cleansing cloths. I don't know if they're good or not. Well, since I still have these swatches on my arm, let's test out these cleansing cloths. Bye. Oh. So this is what it comes like. It just pops open. That's another thing I like about this. Um these wipes is that it comes with this closet here instead of the tape. Let's see. Let's just wipe. Oh, it's pretty good. You can't beat that for three bucks. Right? It's not oily or anything. And it smells citrusy. But yeah. Oh, okay doing pretty good so that completes my makeup haul hope you guys enjoyed the items that i picked up let me know if you guys want me to try any of some of these products and show you guys what they look like on me or if i like them in the future or what i pick them up again and yes i will be doing a makeup tutorial for this makeup that i have on now and that video should be posted sometime on um, Sunday or Monday so make sure you guys check back on my channel to see how I achieve this makeup look and make sure you guys subscribe for more videos for me and thanks for watching I see you guys in my next video